they gotta put in work Been rushing all day, man, I bet you on her These niggas see my head and they know the G-code If you wanna get these ways, then you go and be small, be small They call me country guy, man, I'm going to be small They call me country guy, man You too, what's good, man? It's your boy, Country Kane, coming at you guys again, man Um, First of all, I like to thank you guys for coming back and checking me out. Um, I know it's been a minute, but look, man, your boy don't like putting out no videos if I haven't done the research or if I don't see a need for it in the game. And today I feel a need for this video. This today we're talking about what I can see it's called hair porosity. Uh, I think this is important to waivers because I get a lot of questions and people saying, hey, I use this product, it's not working. I use this, it's not working. And I see a lot of people trying to do what they see the next waiver do, okay? And uh, hopefully this info will clarify any issues you have about product use or how to determine what you really need for your hair, you know? I know you guys notice I wear a do-rag in almost all of my videos. I do that not because I'm just trying to hide or whatever. I just don't want you guys to get a hold to seeing what my hair looks like and determine what you use based on what I use. Okay, and again, I say this because the porosity levels in every one head is different. There are no two people's hair porosity that will be alike. You know, this is gonna be determined by how you treat your hair, your environment, and your genetics, okay? And being that genetics is totally different, you can't determine what you use based on what I use, all right? That's why it's a trial and error thing. So here we go, let's get into it. And uh, yeah, I took some notes so you're gonna see me looking down. Uh, first of all, we're gonna say uh, what porosity is. Porosity is your hair's ability or inability to retain moisture or absorb, absorb moisture, okay? That being said, um, we have a lot of different causes for porosity. And first, uh, I just want to give you guys an example of how to test your porosity. Uh, the first test will be a, like it's called a strand test, and that's when you get each end. That's when you like hold your hair and roll up on it and see if you feel a little knob at the end. But being a waver and being that most of us now, mainly all of us have a short texture hair, it's gonna be hard to do that test. The second test will be a float test. Um, with a float test, you can probably do it a little easier. However, you should probably pull your hair from your scalp and not just the broke hair. So it's hard to find it. So with a scalp test, um, what I do, when I did it was I would brush my hair and whatever comes out of my brush, when I dump it in the water is what I would use. And that's, that's um, that's, that's the easiest way to do it. However, I can't give you an example because I don't have enough hair. So um, Google it, look it up. They got a lot of people on here on the internet that shows you how to do the uh, float test for porosity. The third test that I feel like will probably benefit you more to know your hair porosity would be what is, what is called the dry test. And this test is real easy. What you do is once you get out of the shower, after you wash your hair or whatever, let your hair stay wet, let your body stay wet and you just drip dry. If your hair dries off before your body, then um, you, you, you might be okay. But if your hair stays wet and your body is dry, no, I'm sorry. If your hair dries before your body does, then you probably have hot porous hair. You're, you're unable to absorb moisture or retain moisture, okay? I'm sorry if I mixed you up on that. I just mixed myself up. How about that? All right, and now that we've determined how do we figure out what type of porosity we have, this is what causes the porosity. Um, it, it, it's got a lot of different causes. I'm just gonna go through a few. Um, some of it is normal wear and tear. It's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen, bottom line. First of all, normal wear and tear is uh, gonna be like low manipulation, um, or styling, you know, that's doing whatever you do to your hair on a daily basis. Then you have uh, your weekly and your bi-weekly washing. It has to be done, however, that could cause, it could affect your hair's porosity level. And combing, which if we comb wrong, we're doing wrong, but that could affect it. And your, again, your environment, all right? And what causes 
um, bad levels of high porosity. It's gotta be a, a constant styling, especially when used with heat. This really damages your hair strand, but we as wavers, we don't really have to be concerned about that part. And we also have excessive washing. Um, we need to be concerned about this because a lot of wavers are trying to wash their hair every day using um, really, really um, caustic shampoos or whatever. And what you're doing is you're stripping your natural oils, which in turn causes dry hair, in turn causes uh, poor levels of porosity, okay? And guess what? One of the main things that we as wavers need to focus on what, what um, affects our porosity is, I got some for you. This baby right here. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna hear some flat back about it. Brushing is what gets you waves. However, being smart with brushes, brushing with a purpose is what's gonna keep your hair healthy and sustainable like you want it to be as waves. That being said, I will not use this if my hair is not ready to accept that I'm using this. So once I use this, I'll probably use this hard brush uh, twice a day, but when I do it, I, I use it in a way that it doesn't affect my porosity as much. Throughout the day, I would use something like a softy or a premium, something to just keep moving and manipulating the hair while also um, not damaging the strands. You know what I mean? And what I tried to do is make a picture so you can get a better understanding of what what porosity is or whatever this picture here is just just think about this as being a hair strand and each line represents a cuticle uh, each hair strand has about five to seven cuticles layering it and as you notice with this line here all the cuticles are overlapping but it's still space in there in other words so moisture can see through and your hair can retain moisture well or release moisture well. And you see this strand, how the lines are further apart, meaning your hair is gonna absorb that like a sponge, but it still can't hold it, you know? And with this strand, this shows a really damaged one. It shows there's missing cuticles. Out of those five to seven layers of them that I spoke about earlier, some of the cuticles are missing, so therefore, we have an issue with our hair strand. The good thing is, See, I thought you, I know you thought it was all bad, but the good thing is we can recuperate from um, our, our, our porosity problem, in the lack, for lack of a better word. And we can do that by, under, first of all, understanding what level of porosity we are. So, for example, if I have a low porosity hair, hair texture, and the next waiver has a high porosity hair texture, I probably shouldn't do the same regimen that they're doing to maintain their hair or waves. You understand? First of all, remember I said there's no two alike. So you find what works for you based on the test or how you, how you determine your porosity level. This is not gonna be in detail like I would want it to be, but I'm giving you the key to what you need to go research more for yourself to find out what you need because it's too many to um, determine who is who. All right, um, first of all, I'm gonna give you some uh, characteristics of the, of the porosity levels. A uh, low porosity level, your hair would look shiny normally. Uh, it looks healthy, however, it has, a pro it has a problem absorbing products, so you would have to do something different to um, help your hair to absorb the moisture. It's like the product you put on it, it just lays on top of it because it's unable to penetrate those cuticles to get to the hair strand itself. Okay, and um, with that type of hair, you would probably need to do something as uh, always a great moisturizing shampoo, which is gonna be which is gonna be needed in all types of porosity. Moisturizing shampoo and a moisturizing conditioner. Remember, moisturizing. In other words, you helping your hair um, get his, get the moisture that's needed. Uh, also, with this type of hair, low porosity, um, I would suggest, and as you do, if you do your research, you'll see 
that um, heated, heated treatments are needed, such as um, deep conditioning, heated, uh, hot oil treatments, whatever you need to do to give your hair the advantage, do it with a low porosity. Uh, medium porosity hair, um, this, is, this is usually, it, it looks healthy, it's resilient, it's elastic, and there's no need for a heat treatment or another word for it to absorb what it needs. And um, okay, and let's go into that. When I say resilient, meaning that it is, it can pretty much handle the environment you're in. Um, when you comb it, it doesn't break easy because it is fortified with the cuticles that's overlapping each other. And there's no need for a lot of the things that you would do for low porosity hair. That's medium. High porosity hair, um, high porosity. What it does, it absorbs too much moisture, sort of like a sponge, okay? Although it absorbs it, it don't retain it. So therefore your hair might appear dry all the time. Um, even though you just put moisturizer in there or whatever, it might appear dry. Not appear, but it's gonna be dry. Um, it lacks shine or luster. You know, some people might say, oh, my hair is always dull looking, or no matter what I put in my hair, it's dull. It's not shining like his or whatever. It may be because you have what they call a high porosity level. That being said, you can still counteract this by um, bi-weekly. When I say bi-weekly, that means every two weeks, deep conditioning. Deep conditioning, um, again, it conditions your hair strand and scalp to taking it on what it needs. Um, oils, different type of oils that you put on your hair, in addition to your moisturizing shampoo and moisturizers, uh, coconut oils, olive oils, and jojoba. Those three oils can be used in all levels of porosity. You just need to think about how frequently you use them, you know? And what else can I say? And mind you, I'm not basing this on one particular person. What I'm doing is giving you the information so that you can either go to another site, the same way you came to the YouTube, Google it, research it, and you know, take take accountability for your hair. You can't, you, yours is not gonna be mine, and mine's not gonna be yours. You have to take accountability for your own individual hair's health. And I just wanna give you kind of like a basis or a guideline to go by in order to do that. You'll notice that once you determine your hair's porosity level, you'll be able to find your regimen that you can do. You'll be able to find you a, what products you need so you don't go out and buy everything in the world because country can use it because Jesus uses it or because Tato uses it. You'll do it because you know what you need. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you something that I, else I do that helps me when I decide to use this. First of all, I heat it up with hot water. Second of all, every time I go in with it, I get this. As you notice, you see a little layer up there? That is olive oil. Well, again, which is one of the oils that I said could be used in every last one of those porosity levels in order to kind of lubricate the strand so I don't damage my hair cuticle uh, more than what it already would be or could be. You see, I kind of help lubricate this, lubricate my hair in order to finish my breast sessions. And I want to keep this short, man. I know this is going to provoke a lot of questions. However, I welcome the questions, but please, before you do that, be mindful that I may say, go do some research or Google this or whatever. You do the hair work and you'll find out you have more pride in your work and how you do it. You feel me? And on that note, you know what it is. It's your boy, Country Kane, Beast Mode. And I'm about this thing, man. Bye!